The battle began with a series of bird calls, signaling the start of the attack. Minnow, with practiced precision, let loose a volley of arrows from his bow. Mera and Erget charged forward, their movements fluid and determined. The Boggarts, caught off guard, fumbled with their weapons, their bulging eyes widening in surprise. At the rear, Sita called upon the spirits of the forest, her hands glowing with ethereal energy. Vines erupted from the ground, ensnaring one of the Boggards, its limbs tangled in the unyielding grip of nature. Olena, staying back from the fray, watched as her familiar, Mr. Bones, slinked through the shadows, a mischievous gleam in his eyes. The battle intensified. Mira, engaged in a two-on-one fight, danced around her opponents with agility. One of the larger Boggards managed to land a brutal hit, causing her to stagger. Despite her injury, she fought fiercely, dispatching one of the toad-like warriors before nearly collapsing. Beside her, Erget entered a frenzied rage, summoning the power of the green-scale dragon. His aura shimmered with the ghostly form of a dragon, his greatsword swinging with lethal precision. One Boggart fell instantly, while another dodged and weaved, matching Erget's fury blow for blow. Their duel was a deadly dance, ending with Erget's sword cleaving through his foe. Meanwhile, Mr. Bones had maneuvered near the largest group of Boggards. Elena, sensing the opportune moment, snapped her fingers. Magic surged through Mr. Bones, culminating in a fiery explosion that engulfed the Boggards, leaving no survivors. In mere moments, the battle was over. The aftermath saw the party tending to their wounds. Mira, gravely injured, required immediate attention. Minnow, claiming knowledge of forest herbs, attempted to heal Mira, but inadvertently worsened her condition. Sita stepped in, her prayers to the forest spirits, bringing forth a gentle healing light that mended Mira's wounds. Elena, meanwhile, revived Mr. Bones with a tender whisper and a burst of magic, bringing the familiar back to life. As night fell, the group made camp and shared stories. Erget recounted his journey to the Great Ice Wall, where he confronted the spirit of the green-scale dragon, taking on its power and anger. Minnow spoke of his parents, his mother's former role as shaman for the Longfang clan, and his father's curse that led to their exile. He described the tragic night his father, transformed into a monstrous wolf, killed his mother, and his subsequent return to the clan under Kaelin's protection. Olena shared her connection to the spirit world, interpreting the desires of the dead and her mission to restore balance to the forest. She spoke of the darkness threatening the green home and her role in combating it. Sita, usually reserved, opened up about her fears and responsibilities as Kaelin's apprentice, her concern for the forest's imbalance and the strange occurrences that seemed tied to Phelan's disappearance. As she recovered from her wounds, Mira recounted her encounter with the Fae. While tracking a spirit through the forest, she crossed into an ethereal realm where the air shimmered and the trees whispered ancient secrets. There, she met powerful Fae who, impressed by her skills, gifted her with intricate tattoos. These tattoos granted her the ability to blend into her surroundings and move unseen, but came with an unknown cost. The tattoos pulsed with a faint otherworldly light, a constant reminder of her encounter and the mysterious power she now wielded. As night fell, Erget was jolted awake by a vision. In this vision, he walked through the forest alone, the wind whispering, help me, my children have been taken, help me. He shared this with Sita, who was on guard, and though they didn't fully understand its meaning, Erget's thoughts drifted to his companions, sleeping soundly, recovering from the night's brutal battle. He thought of Mera's bravery, Sita's wisdom, Elena's mysterious connection to the spirit world, and Minnow's youthful determination. Together, they had faced the dangers of the forest. But what new challenges and mysteries lay ahead in this new day? With the dawn fully breaking, Erget roused his companions, sharing with them the details of his vision. and the urgency he felt, they gathered their gear, ready to face the unknown. The forest, bathed in morning light, seemed both inviting and foreboding. As they set out, the whispers of the wind lingered in Erget's mind, a reminder of the perilous journey that lay ahead. What secrets would the green home reveal? What dangers lurked in its depths? Together, they would discover the answers.
guided by the spirits of the forest and the bond they shared as protectors of this ancient mystical land, 